Hey everybody, how are you? Andy from the Bonnevilles here. I want to have a quick uh, word with you. Um, those of you that know us know that we've got a bit of an issue uh, with social media and Facebook in, in particular um, and the reach that we get. Um, we've got 10,000 followers on Facebook and um, we reach a fraction of that uh, with a post examples last week I mean the only reason that we would maintain a Facebook page the only reason I personally bother with social media is to promote what we're doing our work I don't have any personal you know um, social media accounts so we have 10,000 followers on Facebook and, and last week we put up a post uh, sharing some music from our friend Spy from Moscow, he had a new single out and it got two likes and it, the the insights, we can go into the insights, were, were, were so low they were unmeasurable there was none and then I put up a, a post as well, I'm releasing some a single from my, my solo album that I'm working on at the minute, so I'm in my studio at Northern Gothic 2 uh, and I'm releasing that single this weekend, I think, and um, I put it up on Facebook to let you know, and I got something like 14 likes and a couple of hundred views, and even then, I'm not sure I would believe the view count. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you can see we're at, it's a problem. Never used to be like that. Facebook was great for a very, very long time, and we would take out ads. Sorry. We would, we would take out ads and things like that, and they would work. Now Nowadays, even the ads don't work. So it is a problem, in so much so that it's actually quite an existential problem for bands. Now, you follow bands on... I mean, we are obviously not the only band that you follow on Facebook, so you follow bands in order to stay in touch with their music, you like their music, and you're not being informed of... Not just us. I guarantee you it's happening with all the other bands because I'm talking with other bands and I know what's happening. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you're choosing to follow these bands and you're not seeing their posts. So as far as I'm concerned, that's that's a problem. And it's, also, it's not that there's a contract involved, but if there was a contract involved, it would have been broken. Um, so there's a problem both ends of the transaction. We're not getting to you, and you're not getting to us. So we do have a solution. And this video is called The First Shall Be Last and The Last Shall Be First. And basically we're going back, we're going old school, baby. We're going back to mailing lists. And to be honest, it's something that we should have maintained all these years. Now, we do have a mailing list. So if you go onto our website, thebonnevilles.co.uk, right there on the front page is a sign-up to our mailing list. Um... We won't spam you. We don't. We've been maintaining our mail. We've we've got our our mailing list, and we've had it for years, and we don't take the piss. Very every now and again, you'll get an email from us. We know how difficult it is to keep an inbox clean. Um. So, I would ask you to do that. The second thing we want you to do <clears throat> is go onto our band camp. We'll put all the links for these down below. Go onto our band camp, and join our Bandcamp page. Bandcamp, again showing my age here, would remind you almost of MySpace back in the day. And it's just there, just for music. Whereas Facebook is trying to be everything. Everything from a shop to a, a, a little um, social media platform between you and your cousin. Um, Bandcamp isn't, it's just about music. And it's one of the best revenue splits in the in the industry. It is the best, actually. So we've got a band campaign page over there, and we'd ask you to go and sign up to it, and we can message you on that as well. Um, the third thing that we're going to do is we're going to maintain our YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel, but it's just to... I know it's, it's, a big, it's owned by Google as well, but it's just to keep 
our, an archive really of our videos and our, of our of our video content for ourselves and well for you guys too we don't expect to see much traffic on that but we're going to do that anyway and then the fourth thing that we're going to do is we've got a telegram channel and if you don't know what telegram is it's a little app on your phone or you can put it on your desktop or laptop and it's exactly the same as WhatsApp, exactly the same as WhatsApp, except it's not owned by one of the big corporations, and we get to control it rather than the other way about. Um, so again, we'll put the link underneath, and it'll be more for our, you know, with with our with our band pages on Facebook, band page on Facebook. We get to talk directly with you if we've got an, an idea, and we we try to do it. And now these days we're doing very. Little. It's it. We're getting to the point of despondency with it that we. It's not really worth our while anymore, and it's it's difficult, and we want to have a line a line a line of communication with you guys. That's what the internet is great for, and we haven't got that, purely because of algorithmic changes. It's nothing that we're not doing. But then that leads us down, you know, we then stop posting and we stop um, communicating and because there's no point. So that's where we are. So we would urge you to do that. Now, one of the other things, we, um, we've got a couple of gigs coming up. So tomorrow night we've got Trisha Fest up in the world famous Diamond Rock Club. It's a charity gig for the Macmillan um, uh, Cancer Charity. Uh, up in the world famous famous Diamond Rock Club and then on the 16th of October we're playing Belfast Rocks in the Mandela Hall now this is a real particular particularly interesting if, you, if even if I wanted to use it as a case study for what I'm talking about that would be the one I would use because it's a joint headline show four top acts from Belfast the Belfast area Amy Montgomery Ruse, New Pagans, and us. Uh, any which, any one of those bands would be is a headliner in their own right. So the four of us together, we should be selling out the Mandela Hall in a jiffy. And it's not, it's not selling out. The tickets are selling. It's going to be great, but it's kind of surprising. And we've all had the conversation in the background. That we're all experiencing the same problems. For Mikey messaged me the other day, Andy, could you post that and and put that up on your your page? And I said, yeah, yeah, sure. And I stick the poster up on a wee message about you know come and come and see us. It gets twelve likes, a hundred views. Pointless. It's probably the same hundred people and the same twelve likes. And half of the people that do the do message, if they do message underneath or do write a message underneath it, we're saying yeah, I've got my tickets already. So they're showing us the people that are already going anyway. And again, you say, well, the private corporation, they can do what they like. Absolutely, they can. Um, they want us to take out adverts. Well, we used to do that, and it used to work. Those don't work anymore. They don't get the same reach that they used to. And there's only so much we can spend on things. Like, we have a, a promotional budget for this gig. It's, and it's, just, it's what I would say is a significant one. But it's, it hasn't made a dent. So you can see where we are, right? And um, another point, a quick, quick point as well. I don't mind us being paying for certain things and all the rest of it. But we are, at the end of the day, we are content providers as well. We are providing the content for Facebook. So they're making a certain amount of money. Not a, It won't be a lot of money off it likes us. But all of us bands together. They'll be making a bit off us all, but they're still rinsing us to the point of basically chasing us off the platform. Is that greedy? It is pure greed. They won't, you know, it's, if there's a fair you know the old, the old saying, fair exchange is no robbery. Well, we're, we're at the point now where there's no fair exchange anymore. We're being killed and we can do something about it or we can do nothing about it. So we've chosen to do something about it. And I would urge all the other bands, because I know you are all experiencing the same thing, to start doing this as well. Mailing lists, sign-up sheets on your merch at the door. 
uh, and maintain a website with that on it. And your band, or even if you don't do that, the band camp is probably the best of the best of the bunch out there at the minute. And you guys that want to hear from us, that's how you're going to do it going forward. I would urge you to please go and sign up, follow our band camp page if you don't want to be on another mailing list. I understand. But if we're going to exist, because this is existential at the minute, it's really, really bad. Uh, bands are suffering with, you know, we've gone through so much. Everyone has. We're not going to say what what for. We know what we're talking about. And now I could show you examples of from this from last year to this year, the exact same gig. We've got a gig coming up on the 28th of October here in Lurgan, the Black Cat Club. And I could show you the social media posts from last year to this year and the, the reach and the feedback on the exact same page is fractional really is fractional um so it's it's serious it's serious for us all uh, we're going to have to do it this way we want to take a bit more of a hand we can't be trusting these organizations to keep their promise which is what it's supposed to be you know you you come onto this platform you share your content and we'll share it with the world and they're not doing it so that's the solution the first shall be last and the last shall be first. We will cross post to Facebook, etc. And Instagram, of course. But they'll be very much at the back of our minds going forward. And, you know, at the end of the day, if we send, if we get a Telegram channel with 100 people on it, and we put a message up on Telegram and 100 people see it, that's four or five times more than we're getting on Facebook at the minute, where we've got 10,000 followers on Facebook. So... It's li you can see the point. It's literally not worth our effort. It's not worth our time. So that's where we are. All right. So, the Bonnevilles.co.uk. Go to the band camp. I'll put all the links below. Telegram channel, YouTube channel. There's plenty of stuff there. Um, tomorrow night, Trisha Fest in a hall in the Diamond Rock Club. Mandela Rocks. Mandela or Belfast Rocks the Mandela Hall with Amy Montgomery Ruse New Pagans and the Bonnevilles the 16th of October and the 28th of October the Black Cat Club here in Lurgan just around the corner from me I can't wait Black Cat Club Halloween Ball with Mickey Bartlett just because his name's on the poster the tickets should have sold out already o on their own just with him he's selling out the Ulster Hall on his own for God's sake so uh, and Aqua Tofana are go they, so it's going to be a great show and our world famous Halloween parade is, is a lot of fun so there we go we good do you understand all clear like share sign up do the thing and we'll see you on the flip side take care brothers and sisters